Hello and welcome back once again to my channel Econometrix D. I am your mentor, your friend Shurujit. Today we are going to study class 7 mathematics and we are going to continue with chapter 1 integers. So without further delay, let's get started. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Now students of class 7, today we are going to solve exercise 1.3. I know you were waiting when I will start teaching 1.3. Yes, it took a long time. Okay, so question number 1. Let's start. Uh, fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. You have to say make fill up these blanks so that the statement statements will be correct. Now we can do now we can do it. Why? Because we have studied the properties of addition as well as the properties of subtraction. Okay. So those properties once we know then these things becomes easy. Now you see here first one minus 5 plus then minus 8 equal to minus 8 plus then dash. Okay. Now what property is this? This is looking like the commutative property okay, of addition. That means when you add two integers, if the order is changed, then also the outcome, the sum will be same only. See here, minus 5 plus then minus 8. You are adding this one. Now here, order is changed. So when order is changed, so minus 8 I am writing then after that I will write this one minus 5 clear now next one question number B minus 53 plus dash is equal to minus 53 so with this integer you are adding what then it will become the same only so this is the additive identity when you add 0 with any integer, the answer will be the same integer only. So, this is additive identity of addition. Okay. Now, next one. 17 plus dash equal to 0. So, it is matching with which one? Additive inverse. That means, 17 additive inverse is what? Minus 17 minus 17 so when you add the integer and its additive inverse obviously you are going to get 0 clear now if you see question number d e f nicely then you can see that it is matching with which property of addition why addition so you can see here plus 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 here plus plus okay so from here only we can understand that it is a property of addition so which property associative property of addition so what it is telling when three or more integers are added and whatever will be the order whatever order you you change the order but the outcome will be same only so first one you can see here 13 plus then another one is minus 12 then what will be here and you see here, here this is x, this is y, this is z. So, here I forgot to put the bracket. Okay. Now, you can see here 13, it is matching. Okay. Minus 12, then which is left? Minus 7. So, minus 7. Clear. Again, this one you can see. Minus 4 is there, 15 is there, minus 3 is there. You have changed the order. Minus 4 you wrote and 15 you wrote together. Then which is left? minus 3 is left so minus 3 again this one you can see here minus 8 is there minus 3 is there minus 12 is there so this x y z okay so three things now here you have changed the order minus 8 plus then which are left minus 3 and another one is what minus 12 so we will write here minus 12 so it is so simple okay so this is the associative property of addition what is number c 
it is the additive inverse property of addition and what is this this is the additive identity and what is this this is the commutative property of addition clear now we are going to solve question number two very easy state whether the given statements are true or false so let us see this one 18 minus 3 plus 5 equal to 18 minus then within the bracket 3 plus 5 so you, if you see here 8 here it is not following any property okay we cannot say that this is commutative property okay why because here this plus and if you change the order then this is becoming this minus okay so 18 minus 3 is coming how much 15 so 15 plus 5 is what 20 again here you add this one so 3 plus 5 8 so 18 minus 8 is 10 so it is not matching so this will be false okay because here the order is changed we can see but when the order is changed you are making one positive plus adding another one you are subtracting okay now the second one number b okay you can see here all are plus 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 that means you are adding the property of addition so properties of addition which property the associative property if you change the order also it will be same only okay here the order is changed but both the sides will be same so what we will write here true next one you can see here 346 minus 124 equal to 124 minus 346 now this one is a property of subtraction which property commutative property and commutative property of subtraction does not hold true it is not true okay that means it is false so 346 minus 124 if you change the order it will never come same so it will be false clear then number d you can see three integers are there here also three integers but the order they have changed first one they kept alone then second and third together again here first and second together and the third alone okay but it is what it is the associative property of addition so it is holding true okay so this one we can write true now here you can see here here subtracting here subtracting okay so this one is what uh, associative property of uh, which one associative property of subtraction and it doesn't hold true okay so what we will write false now see this one 890 minus 0 you are subtracting 0 so this is the property of 0 under the properties of subtraction and when you subtract 0 from any integer then what will be the outcome the same thing only it should come 890 but it is coming 889 so that is wrong so we can say false i think up to this much you have understood now students those who are new in my channel i would like to request you all to please give a like share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe my channel it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first now we are going to solve question number three okay so what they are asking simplify the following using the associative property of addition of integers so we have to use associative property of addition for simplifying this sum now what is associative property of addition already i have told you three or more integers when added okay so we have to make group clear you have learned like this way x plus then y plus z and another group you can make it x plus y 
and then plus z clear like this way but here three integers are here here we have four integers one two three four so what you can do you can take first one and all the three together in one group okay or you can take all the three and then my plus then minus three separate or you can take these two and these two also whichever you like you can just make a group okay suppose if i want to do like that way okay if i want to use in this style okay then how i will do i will write here equal to sign then minus six okay and then plus and all these three things i will make it together i will bring it together minus 17 plus minus 4 plus minus 3 okay now minus 6 plus okay now i am opening this bracket now here i will also open the bracket minus 17 plus minus minus 4 plus minus minus 3 so now minus 6 plus now see minus 17 minus 4 minus 3 so all are minus so same sign so we have to add but the sign will be what minus so 17 plus 4 21 plus 3 how much comes 24 so minus 24 now i will open the bracket minus 24 so how much comes minus 30 because minus minus same sign means we have to add and this is the answer okay now we will solve question number 3b so here also four integers are there one two three four so same way we can do okay so this time what we will do we will put equal to and the first three together in one group if i want to do so minus 79 plus 56 plus minus 21 these three i have taken in one group then plus four clear just making the group okay you can take two again two also you can take it okay now i will open the bracket minus 79 plus 56 plus minus minus 21 and then like this way then plus four okay now what comes see here this is minus 79 this is minus 21 so minus minus we add but the sign is what minus now 9 and 1 10 1 carry 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 7 100 if you cannot do you can do in rough 79 21 10 1 so it comes 100 clear then plus 56 is there and then plus 4 now see minus sign plus sign so different sign we have to subtract so 156 if you subtract how much comes 44 you do it here so if you subtract 0 10 this becomes 9 then 10 4 again 4 44 but the sign will be what which is greater 100 or 56 100 is greater so it has minus sign so minus 44 clear now no need of giving bracket also okay then plus 4 now what comes see minus sign plus sign so different sign so again we have to subtract so if i want to subtract it will come how much minus 40 and this is the answer if you cannot 44 and 4 you subtract so what you will get 40 and the sign will be what 44 is big so it has minus sign so minus 40 clear now we will solve question number c 3c so let us do so if i want to keep 87 as it is plus and then all these three things together in one bracket so 13 plus then minus 3 like this and now 87 plus now open the bracket minus 7 plus 13 minus 3 now 87 plus see here minus 7 minus 3 
So minus 7 minus 3 is what? Minus 10. Why? Minus minus we add but the sign is minus. And then plus 13. So now 87 plus. Now minus plus. So different sign we will subtract. 13 and 10 subtracting is 3. And which sign I will take? 13 is big. It has plus sign. So plus 3. So plus is already written. I will write only 3. Now you can see positive plus 87 plus 3. So same sign means we will add. So 87 plus 3, 90. And this is your answer. Now question number 3D, the last sum of question number 3. Okay. So 64 plus minus 176 plus then minus 24 plus 36. So what we will do? We will write here 64 plus and then if I make all these three things together. So minus 176 plus minus 24 plus 36. Clear? Now 64 as it is plus plus. Now here I will open the bracket minus 176 minus 24 plus 36. Now comes 64 plus. Now you can see negative minus minus. So we will add but the sign will be minus. So 176 and 24 if you add it. So what it comes 200 plus 36. Now you will be thinking how it comes. You can do the rough 176 and 24. You just add it 10, 1, again 10, 1, 2, 200. Clear? Now 64 plus. Now you see minus and here it is plus. So different sign. So we will subtract. So if you don't know, you can subtract in the rough. Okay? So 2, you cut it, borrow 1, 10, again 9, 10. So what comes here? 4, 9 minus 3, 6 and 1. Those who can do directly, you can do directly, no problem. Okay. So what you get? 164. But which is big? 200 is big, it has minus sign. So write minus. Now you open the bracket, minus 164. So what you get minus 100 and this is the answer. Now some of you will be thinking how minus 100 now plus 64 nothing written means plus plus 64 minus 164. That means different sign we will subtract. Okay. So 0, 0, 100. So you get minus 100. Clear. So question number 1, 2 and 3 of exercise. 1.3 I have completed so you try to practice these sums again and again so that if any of these sums comes in the exam you can do quickly as well as correctly agar video pasand aaye to like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega milte hain aur ek naye acche content ke sath tab tak ke liye bye bye